Hi, everyone. This is Chu Shang Guo from Beijing University of Posts and Telecommunication. I'll present our work in the online knowledge distillation via collaborative learning. It's a joy to work with my co-author. This goal of work is to enable deep neural networks that have different learning capacities to consistently improve mutual generalization ability. For classification, we usually train neural network from scratch with one hot label. Knowledge distillation is proposed to improve performance of a compact student deep neural network. We assume that the structured knowledge of a teacher network captures inter-class variations via representing image label by a class distribution, and the inter-class similarities can be compared among different classes. A high-quality teacher is important for optimizing a good student. If the teacher is not well optimized and provides noisy supervision, the risk that soft target and ground truth conflict with each other becomes high. We evaluate the impact of teacher quality using ResNet 18 as the student model on ImageNet dataset. From the figure, we can see that when the teacher size is not too large for the student, teacher's performance increases. Thus it provides better supervision for the student by being a better predictor. In offline distillation framework, the teacher is pre-trained first and then fixed, and the knowledge transfer is one way and has two stages. Online distillation methods simplify the transfer by merging individual training processes in a single one. Recently, self-distillation shows that distilling a converged teacher model into a student model of identical network architecture can further improve the generalization ability compared to the teacher. So, could we use a small network to improve the model with larger capacity? The answer is yes. RKDCL automatically generate an ensemble soft target in an online manner. A series of methods are proposed to generate a soft target, which ensures that students with different capacity benefit from collaborative learning. The raw images are augmented separately with different random seeds, and the soft target is generated to supervise all networks. That enhances the invariance of the network against input perturbations. All the trained models can predict independently, so the improvement does not incur additional test computational cost. A naive and intuitive ensemble method is to choose the logit with the smallest cross-entropy loss among all students. It's simple yet efficient. The table is an example of three models with three categories. To get better teacher logit, KDCL linear is proposed to define the teacher logit as the best linear combination of sub-network logits. Calculating the best linear combination can be treated as an optimization problem. The KDCL linear incurs another optimization problem during training, whereas we hope network ensemble is efficient. The difference between values in logit decides the probability distribution produced by the softmax function. So, we subtract the value of label class to standardize them. Then KDCL min logit generates the soft target by selecting the minimum element of each category. The teacher with more generalization ability usually instructs the students to converge better. Performance on the validation dataset can be viewed as a measure of generalization ability. Therefore, KDCL general is proposed to calculate an optimal ensemble of the component networks to approximate the teacher. The optimum ensemble weight can be solved by the Lagrange multiplier. Measuring the generalization error incurs the little computational cost, and updating the parameters of the neural network a few steps does not change the output drastically due to the small learning rate. Hence, we update the optimal weight vector each training epoch. The resultant table shows that KDCL surpasses the state-of-the-art methods. KDCL linear and min logit outperforms KDCL naive a result of the higher quality soft target. KDCL min logit is more efficient and the performance is equal to KDCL linear. The result of KDCL general is not good enough because one epic for ImageNet contains too many examples and it leads to the imprecise estimates of the ensemble weight. We conduct experiments on various architectures. The results in right table show that the more compact model MobileNet V2 with 0.5 width provides hint for MobileNet V2, ResNet 18 and even ResNet 50. If we ensemble more models, the improvement is further amplified. The main reason is that stochastic algorithmic procedures can lead to diverse model. We train ResNet 18 three times with the same setting but different random seeds. Shown in left figure, the accuracy of different categories varies dramatically. The accuracy in right figure shows that even ResNet the 18th of May beats ResNet 50 on the part categories. KDCL scales well with more sub-networks but the gain decreases as the networks increase. In this table, all the networks are ResNet 18 to prevent the impact of network performance differences. We conjecture that the mutual information between the strong ensemble network and the additional network increases as the ensemble size raises. An interesting phenomenon is observed that KDCL min logit and linear do worse than KDCL naive, conflicting with the results on ImageNet. We conjecture that the soft target with less cross-entropy loss on CFAR 100 train set leads to overfitting like the one hot label. KDCL general significantly improves the performance by the more general teacher model according to the optimal weighted average on the validation set. We also conduct experiments on detection and segmentation based on ResNet 18 train with KDCL. Improvement can be realized to downstream task. Gaussian noise is brought to the testing images and loss gap from KDCL to baseline becomes more significant as the intensity scales up. Our method is more robust to random noise. In summary, we describe an online knowledge distillation framework based on collaborative learning strategy. Models of various capacity can benefit from collaborative learning. A series of model ensemble methods are designed to dynamically generate high-quality soft targets. Invariance against perturbations in the input domain is enhanced by transferring knowledge and fusing the output of images with different distortion.